Hello. In the last video, we created this uh, all tags page where we show these uh, buttons with badges of all our tags. And in this video, we're going to be creating the uh, tag page in which when we click on each tag, we see uh, the posts of, uh, of that particular tag. So let's do that. Um, let's commit the changes that we've made so far. So get add dot and get commit uh, created all tags page. Okay, so this is going to be another template. So let's create that and let's call that tag posts JS. So tag dash posts JS. And before we do anything here, we don't have a lot of code to write in Gatsby node. So let's get that out of the way first. Let's create a tags, um, tag posts entry in the templates object. So tag posts and that will pertain to path.resolve, not resolve or resolve source slash temp templates slash tag dash dash posts dot js and it's simple as looping through our tags so let's do here underneath all the uh, the all tags page let's do create tag posts pages and let's do tags dot for each tag and tag and we do an arrow to this create page Oops, page, and that takes a path as per usual. Template literal string, doing backticks, slash tag, slash dollar sign, curly braces, slugify tag, and you will take a component of uh, templates, which we just added, dot tags, um, no, not tags, tag posts. And it will also take a context because I will show you one in a second. That context will be the tag itself. And let's save this and go to the file we just created, which is this. Let's bring in React, import React from React. Let's do const, um, const tag posts. Don't know why I froze there. <laughs> and it will take uh, data because we're going to do a GraphQL query and page context and it's going to arrow to this and let's actually write that GraphQL uh, GraphQL query first and actually before that first we need to bring GraphQL itself GraphQL from Gatsby and let's write our query so export const uh, tag query graph graph um, graph ql backticks enter tab and let's do a query actually I realized I don't even need to name these queries I could just do a query and then just do the query itself so this takes a tag which we passed here this tag context variable and it's of type string and it, we do an exclamation mark to reiterate again that it would be um, uh, we need to have it it's uh, I'm forgetting the terminology but you get the vibe so all markdown remark and we open uh, parentheses and we need to sort these so sort by and let's open credit braces fields front matter triple underscore date and the we pass an order of descending so desk and we also need to filter so filter filter is it's a filter if you've dealt with database queries before this is uh, something you used to get um, get records with a certain property. So in this case, our records need to have in their front matter. So front, front matter, 
I made a typo, front matter, and in that front matter, in the tags, we do this. So in, and we put our dollar sign tag here. And this means that in that array, we need to find this tag. So if that tag is, exists in that array, that means gives us this one uh, post. We want this post. So we need this total count. Um, we need also edges, of course, and inside of edges we need node. And we need the ID of the node, we need uh, front matter, so the usual stuff really. Inside of that we need title, date, which we're gonna format, so open parentheses, format, string, and this will take this format, so quadruple M, do Y, 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 Y. Our usual format author, tags, and uh, the image. Wait, do we have image? Oh yeah, of course we have image. This is the post image, not the tag image. Uh, image, child, image, sharp. And inside of that we need the fluid. And that will take a max width um, of 6. 50 and by the way you can also specify max height and you can specify only the max height if you want let's go to 371 um gatsby i don't know why the one could have done 370 but whatever gatsby image sharp fluid and we need the slug so i believe we're here so fields Slug and we need excerpt. Excerpt and uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, by the way, we need to export our component itself. So let's go export default tag posts and let's save so that it formats and it doesn't format properly for some reason. Okay, that's fine. I'm not offended. <laughs> let's get our tag so const tag from page context from I don't know why I did from <laughs> page context and we need as well to get our total count and you'll see why in a second total count from count from and I almost typed from data dot all markdown remark which is this and now let's let's um let's do a page title so const page let's call it header just to not confuse it with the page title in layout even though we're gonna pass it for that but let's just call it this so a template literal string and total count um Total count space post and we're gonna do something needlessly troublesome. <laughs> so we open a, a, a conditional here. So let's do total count triple equal one, and then this is a ternary operator. If um, let me type it out and then explain it in case you don't know what that is. Uh, let's type it out. So what happens here? Actually, I fin let's finish typing the whole thing. Uh, wait, so totally count post and um, let's say tagged with again another variable. But I want to put this in um, double quotation marks, which is okay because we're not in double quotation marks, so it's not gonna end it. So we're just gonna do this tag. So an example of this would be like 15 posts tagged with um, whatever the tag is called, like design. And the idea behind this um, conditional here is that we take the total count of our uh, posts and if that's one, that means it's only one post. So we can say like one post tagged with, but if it's more than one, that means if it's not equal than one, it's going to be S. So posts, not post, it's because it's plural and not singular. And this is a ternary operator, so if this condition, I always hate like that, uh, 
condition I, I like to put conditionals in um, in parentheses but prettier here is configured to remove them because if I save again it's going to remove them so if this is a condition and if it's true this is a ternary operator if it's true this is going to be executed if it's not this is going to be executed and in, in this case it's just like a string returned okay let's return here return Let's return our content. So layout as per usual, and the page title is this page header. So page header, and inside of that, we're gonna loop through our posts. So data dot all markdown remark uh, dot edges dot map, and we're gonna destructure the node. And we're going to return for each node a uh, post. So post, uh, the key is um, node.id. Uh, we need to pass a slug, which is the um, node.fields.slug. We need to pass a title, which is going to be node.frontmatter.id. Uh, title we need to pass an author which is going to be node.frontmatter author we need to pass a date which is node.frontmatter date we need the body um, so body which is node.excerpt and we need um, tags which is going to be node.frontmatter.tags we need fluid which is going to be oh, which is going to be node.frontmatter.image.childimage.sharp.fluid and we need a um, what do we need um, no that's it Okay, let's close this tag and let's bring in post itself and layout for that matter. So layout, oops, from, from, go back one level, com, component, slash, po, uh, what am I doing, slash layout, and then let's bring post from the same folder, so go back one level to slash components, slash post, and I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's just run and see what happens. I think something is wrong with this query because it's not formatting. But let's just run. I don't know why it's not formatting. Export const tag query equals GraphQL. Oh, of course there's something wrong. <laughs> Syntax. What is wrong? So take it tag type string uh, mark down remark wait this should tell us what's wrong cannot pass an expected character dot where is this dot there's a dot somewhere oh this is a spread operator and there we go not two dots, three dots, and it's compiled with warnings. What is the warning? There are multiple modules with names that only differ in casing. I've had this error before. How did I solve it? Oh, okay. Yeah, just give it a lowercase layout. There we go. Brilliant. Let's refresh, and there we go. See. One post tag with tutorial if we click on design, two posts tag with design and we get the ones that have design. And if we go as well and find the one with, do we click on code? Yeah, we didn't. So code, two tags with code, tagged with code. And there we go. We have the uh, tags from here as well. They work. Right? They all work. There, I clicked all of them. Do you believe me now? <laughs> okay. So we've created the single tag page. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you are happy with that, <laughs> because I am. 
And the next video, we're going to be uh, working on pagination. Because what happens if we have too many posts? We're not going to have all the posts in one page. We need to create more pages. So uh, I look forward to seeing you there. Okay, bye.